And it's bugging out like I said it would. That is the glitch I was telling you about. Hello everybody and welcome back to Simulate Gaming. And we are back finally in Donegal. It's been a while since we've been here because we started the, Hulk, uh, the White Oak series. And last time we were here we mowed some grass and we um, put the hay down to this yard here. I have gone ahead and parked everything as well. So we have our Ford, our T6, our Steyr and our Sammy. That's all the tractors we have. There's no, don't really need much more than that on this map, to be fair. We have a Bobcat on higher. In fact, I'll just flick through to it. Oh, we got the New Holland, obviously. And here it is. Here's the Bobcat. This is on higher. We used it to get rid of our grain. Uh, I don't think we finished it just yet. In fact, let's double check. The reason we stopped is because obviously the price of wheat came down because we sowed so much of it. So, we're going to go ahead and first of all, before we begin, get rid of our Bobcat. Here you are. No, I can't actually remember what the bucket was for that. I think it was possibly this one. Okay, so there's only really one thing for us to do today, and that is to plant on field number 22. Now, we have already cultivated it and plowed it, so we literally just need to take the seed row over and uh, go ahead and seed it. So to do that, we're going to be using the Same to do the seeding, and we're going to jump into the T6. We're going to get a front loader for it, and we're going to fill up the uh, seed drill. So first of all, let's head over there. GoPro should be on. Let's go ahead and start up the tractor. Okay, so we are here collecting the seed drill now. I've parked it at a really weird angle because I'm a bit of an idiot, but it shouldn't be too much hassle to get. Here we go. Straighten up a little bit. Okay. We'll jump out. Connect this up. Connect the PTO shaft and we are ready to go. There's only 7% seeds in there. Now we do actually have to go and buy some new seed bags. And the reason for that is because if you watched the last one, you know we already had them. But I've actually updated the mod. There's a new version of it out. So we need to go ahead and collect the new version. Bit of a waste of money, but at least they fixed some of the bugs that were occurring in the last version. So yeah, sorry it's been a while since we've done Donegal. Obviously I started the White Oak Farm and currently I'm I only work really on the weekends because I'm self-employed. Uh, so weekends are a bit of a quiet for me but I'll try and upload as much as I can during the week. As we go now I'm going to be recording about six episodes in one go and then editing them so they're ready to upload. So hopefully I'll actually have stuff to upload over the weekend as well. My plan is to do three Taste of Donegal's and three White Oaks as well. Okay, so here we are. Okay, so now we've jumped in to the T6. Can we get around this corner? Yes, nice nice and easy. Um, I might need to adjust the head tracking a little bit. It's not very... It's not very good at the moment. But yeah, here is... The front loader. Let's just whack that onto here. Now, I'm not actually sure how this is still here, because I actually deleted the mod. Unless it's the same thing. Well, hopefully it's the same thing. I pressed the wrong button then. That's the button we wanted. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and get our bags. Okay, I'm sure some of you were shouting at the screen then, because it was right next to me. I didn't see it. It's a bit early in the morning for me. Once again, I did say I work nights, so that's why it's... Technically, it's uh, half one in the afternoon in real life, but... In fact, it's half one in the game as well, which is strange. So we're going to connect this up. Make sure all the ramp and stuff's in. Yes, it is. Okay, and now we will head over to the shop. Okay, everybody, we're back. I had to do something real quick, which was annoying. I had... Let me just pull the mic from forward. I had to revert back to version one of the bags. The one we were on previously, because... Uh, version four didn't work. Uh, they worked, but they didn't have any connection points. So they showed up in game, but there's no connection points. Version 3 didn't show up in the game at all, and version 2 I had to wait an hour before I could download it, so we'll try them after the video. But yeah, for now we are back on version 1 of the bag, so they may bug out and start going crazy, but hopefully not. So we'll just lift this over the trailer, plop them down like that. Now once again we are using the Q 
button to connect these and not the manual attachment mod because the manual attachment mod makes it freak out which is why I wanted to go to version 4 but doesn't really matter too much. Okay everybody so we have finally arrived at field 22 I think the microphone's a bit close. We'll unhitch this let's lower these if it will let me oh it bugged out a little bit there that's fine uh, okay so the C drill is there so first things first, we have to, of course, load it up. We are stuck on something. Okay, let's back up into this field. We'll go grab our first bag. Once again, we're not using manual attachment for the bags. I think a teddy handler would be better for this, but I don't actually have one. As you can see, we don't have much money. And it's bugging out like I said it would. That is the glitch I was telling you about. So that's why I wanted to upgrade, because it does that. So we'll touch it again. I think we'll go at it from the side this time. Okay, so we want to uh... There we go. I uh, will fill it up. Okay, something appears to have changed since the last time I used it, because we've only put in just over half a bag and it's filled up the C drill completely. I'm pretty sure there was only seven percent in the C drill unless it was seventy percent. I might have read it wrong, that's always a possibility. Put this back onto the trailer for now. Oops. This is why I really need the updated version, but it doesn't work. There we go. So we'll turn this tractor off. Now, obviously, in real life, you wouldn't leave it in the middle of this path, but seeing as we're the only people working today, shouldn't be a problem. So we'll jump into the Same. And we'll start doing this ourselves. Now, obviously, I'm not going to make you sit through the whole video of me just doing this. So I'll ever do a do a time lapse or something, and we'll see how we get on. Okay, everybody. So we're back. I've actually put the uh, C drill onto course play, and I've also made my head tracking a bit too sensitive now. But um, the reason for that is because we actually only have two arable fields on this map. I know it's a dairy map. But uh, we want more stuff to be doing, so we're going to be turning field 21 into an arable field today. So we have the plow on the back. It's only a small one, so it's going to take forever, but we'll actually do this ourselves, because I don't mind a bit of plowing. So um, I don't know what we're going to turn this into. Probably canola or wheat. Probably wheat so we can actually feed our animals, but let's flip this over. In fact, no, I want it the other way. Okay, so for so before we begin, let's um, let's jump out of here and close the gates. This doesn't get in the way because I know for a fact it will do. We're going to turn the inspector mod on so we can see when we need to refill our C drill. Usually it's on fifty-eight percent at the moment. Let's quickly go check it. Actually, there we go. He's only on the second headland right now, so he's literally just started. We'll uh, close this. And hopefully this goes well. So we're going to lower this now. We of course need to turn on Allow Create Field. Yep, that's on. And we'll go. It's a bit shaky because the Ford's not really big enough to cope with the plow, but should work anyway. This could take all day, but... Yeah, I still have hardly any subscribers, but the people that are subscribed have dropped me some messages. A couple of them have dropped me some messages, and I really appreciate the feedback. A lot of people apparently like the wheel cam, so hello. I'm going to keep it, because I was debating in the last episode whether it was worth it or not, and apparently it is. So yeah, the wheel cam is going to be staying. 
Uh, if you haven't been checking up on my channel, I have another series out now, which is on White Oak Farm. That's only going to be a short series, probably like about 10 episodes maximum. It may go overboard if we're doing something. Like, we're not going to just stop on number 10 with a half cultivated field or something. Because that would be ridiculous. So, yeah. We're going to be doing this field now. I should have probably hired a bigger plow, but to keep it realistic, you use what you've got in real life, so we'll do the same here. It's not going too bad, actually. The New Holland Ford, whatever, is uh, doing quite well so far. The seed drill is on 44%, so we should have a while left before we have to go and redo that. So now what we do is we drive in what we've just ploughed, and it should work. Which is why I'm going clockwise. Because we can use this as like sort of a marker. Um, I'm going to fast forward this bit until... Um, just like interesting happens. Actually, a little bit more on the channel. I was the other day considering doing some American Truck Simulator because I do play American Truck Simulator sometimes. Um, so I was getting ready to set up a video to record and upload it to my channel, and I generally got bored playing it, let alone watching someone play it. So like, is that something you guys would want to see? I don't know, but I got bored playing it myself. So I didn't even finish one job, and I was like, this is boring. And I jumped straight back onto Farm Sim. Another thing, if you're still watching this uh, this far into the video, I'm also um, going to be doing a... When I get a little bit more subscribers, I'm going to be doing a series, which is probably going to be once a week, where it's actually on an online server. So I'll be working with subscribers on... It's probably going to be a vanilla map, if I'm honest, because most computers can handle it, but obviously there's some computers that can't handle custom maps. One like this, for example, with loads of detail and Sandy Bay, for example. I'm pretty sure they won't be able to handle that. So actually, what we're going to do now is start doing length of this field. See, that's something I plan on doing. So if you are interested in that, then obviously click subscribe. I'm going to be paying for a dedicated server for, I don't know, maybe a month. See how it goes. Okay, so we have temporarily set the Ford onto course play whilst he does that plow, because we are going to refill this again. Okay, so we've stopped him. We're going to go to the side this time. We learned our lesson the last time not to go behind. That's what she said. So let's lift this out. Um, that should work from here, actually. Okay, she's on 78%. We're going to fill it up completely. We do have another bag, even though it's glitched into the ground. Luckily, it's easy to get out the ground with the manual attachment mod. Okay, so we've uh, Ford stuck again. Brilliant. So we're going to go fill this up one last time. And then we'll jump back into the Ford and start plowing ourselves. Because as you can see, it's not doing very well by itself. Although it's just sort of fixed itself. There we go. So we still have quite a lot left in this bag. So we'll put it back onto the trailer. Before we do that, we'll jump out and start this guy back up again. Okay, so we've started the uh, Samway off again. We're going to lower this. Flop him here. That should do nicely. We'll turn off this tractor because we don't need it. Although it probably would be good to do the plowing in this, but... Whatever. It's too late now. Shut that so he doesn't get stuck, even though he's already done this part. Uh, to get rid of this, we just got to it and press B. Like so. That only happens with empty bags, by the way. When you get empty bags, you can press B to get rid of them, in case you didn't know. Okay, so we're back in the Ford doing it ourselves. Now, the hired worker, we temporarily hired while we filled up the seed drill again. Hatchy did more of a mess. He made more of a mess than he actually helped, so I don't think we're going to be doing that again. You can see at the top here, he just made a massive mess and started going around in circles. 
So we've sort of made the work even more for ourselves now, because now we have to go fix that afterwards. I'll do that last, because I'm in a nice little length routine at the moment. Okay, everybody, so we have finished seeding field number 12, uh, 22, not 12, sorry. Um, I've gone ahead and done an extra two headlands, as you can probably tell by the uh, pattern on the ground, because he missed out loads of stuff, but we've done that now. We've also finished plowing field number 21 and turned it into an arable field. So in the next video, we're going to be planting some seeds on here. You can see I've still left the forward in here. Um, and we're also going to be fertilizing field number 22, so yeah, this is a bit of a short episode, but we got the basics done. So join me in the next episode where we'll continue replanting field 22 and fertilizing... No, other way around. Planting field 21. Actually, we need to cultivate it first. And then fertilizing field 22. So as always, thank you for joining me. It means a lot. I have been Simulate Gaming, and I'll see you in the next one.